five of the Spring Break My Challenge. And guess what? I have finished, I have finished chapter nine and ten today. And I am very happy to be finishing this book so I can get my twenty dollars this week and go to Top Golf because yeah, I love Top Golf. So, um, to get started, I'm going to start with chapter nine today. And chapter nine is talk is the chapter is called Who Do You Trust? It starts off talking about who what the common mistake people make while they're going into retirement. The common mistake people make is that they really like the common mistake is the people people like to build wealth and keep building wealth and and only focus on that and nothing else. So yeah, um, that's a common mistake though. So don't worry about that right now. Yeah. To make your retirement come true, you have to work hard. If you don't work hard, then nothing will happen for you, and you won't be able to have your dream retirement. It doesn't. It doesn't happen just randomly. You have to work hard for it. One thing you need to have is insurance. Okay, lots of people don't like insurance because it, it's like people think it's like a waste of money, and sometimes you never need it. But let me tell you, insurance actually really helps keep the risk down in case you get in like an accident or, or something spent like something really um re like really serious that you would need your insurance for. Because if you don't have your insurance, you're probably if that increases the chances of more you're probably going to get hurt and then yeah, it's gonna be just really bad and you won't have your insurance to pay for you, so yeah. There's different types of insurances, like the health insurance, insurance, the long-term insurance, the automobile insurance, and the homeowners and, and renters insurance, all those insurances, yeah. I'm not old enough to know which one I would normally want to have because I can't pay bills yet, but still, because I'm only 13, but still. You know what? I will get there. I will get to that age sooner or later. I hope later. One thing you need to do is establish a trust. Did you know that if you establish a trust account with someone, your your the state taxes will actually be limited? That's really that's pretty cool, right? Yeah, I think so. If you have a trust in place, your wealth will when you die will move to that instead of moving to your heirs, it will move to it'll move to your trust and yeah, so that's pretty cool too, I think so. Sorry about that. I have a little kid in the background. Sorry. So, man. The other type of tax that there is is a gift tax instead of a state tax. Because state tax is a state A state tax is more of... State tax is what is left for your heirs, like children, heirs, grandchildren, yeah, with all that stuff. And then the other one is gift, is gift taxes. And gift tax, gifting is like, gift taxes is more giving money to different families instead of giving it to your heirs for when you die. And stuff like that. So, yeah, that's pretty much the main thing about chapter 9. And I will be doing chapter 10 in just a few minutes. So, make sure you stay there for just a few minutes. I'll be busy. Yeah, fill you up again, sign off, y'all.